Hi, again we prepared some interesting uh, information for you. And as you know, in our video flash, no fact-free policies and for sure no alternative facts. What happened in Brussels the last few days? Uh, first of all, and maybe the most important event, was uh, the conference organized by the uh, Commission on the Social Rights Pillar. The Social Rights Pillar is a commission initiative to promote a more social Europe. And President Juncker and seven commissioners uh, committed to work on employment, youth employment, better social protection and better access to the labour market for, for all. A quite important and remarkable initiative. And the Commission should not forget that civil society is available to work on this together with them. Secondly, uh, another interesting initiative uh, that we as ESPD uh, are developing now. We are putting a new project together to look at the situation of migrants with disabilities. Uh, it is a bit uh, uh, an undiscovered uh, field, so to say. We know that in the different ways of uh, migration, uh, there are some uh, persons with a disability or families with a disabled family member, but nobody knows where they are and nobody knows what type of support uh, they receive. So ESPD wants to look into it and wants to come with a few um, uh, answers to these very challenging problems and issues. Thirdly, we will uh, in the coming days discuss with the colleagues of the Council of Europe the implementation of the new disability strategy. As you know, we have in Europe the European Union, um, bringing together 28 countries, but we also have the Council of Europe, and the Council of Europe represents 47 European countries. The Council developed, together with civil society, with ESPD, a brand new disability strategy. Uh, and that will start in 17 and uh, last until uh, two, uh, 2023. We will look at how ESPD can contribute to the implementation of this important uh, new uh, policy framework. Keep on watching, because the policy team will explain in a few seconds uh, the relevance of the European Parliament for our sector and for ESPD. Thank you for watching. Bye. And why would we work with the European Parliament? Well, imagine if we want to create more jobs in the EU. What would happen? The European Commission would draft a proposal that it would send to the Council of the EU, representing the government of member states, and to the European Parliament, elected by citizens. Together, they would draft the European law. The European Parliament is consisted of 751 members of European Parliament, coming from the 28 countries and divided in eight political groups. They range from the far right to the far left and represent the whole political spectrum as in every member state. How does the Parliament work in practice? Uh, the Parliament is made of 20 committees working on different issues. The most relevant ones for the work of ESPD are the Committee on Employment and Social Affairs, the Committee on uh, um, Civil Liberties and Human Rights, and the, economy, the Committee on uh, Economic Affairs. Next to the committees, we also have intergroups. Intergroups promote dialogue and discussions around specific topics. The most relevant uh, intergroups for the work of ESPD are the intergroup on disability, the intergroup on social economy, and the intergroup on public services. Once the legislation is um, analysed by the different committees, all the 751 members of the European Parliament gather in a plenary session and uh, vote on the legislation. Why is this important for EASPD and why is this important for you? The European Commission proposes law, for example, on creating jobs. This affects many of our members who dedicate their lives to helping people with disabilities get access to the labour market. Therefore, we come together with our members and develop position papers bringing in the expertise that they have to help people uh, with disabilities get access to the labour market. Then we come to the European Parliament where we speak with members of the European Parliament to make sure that uh, our voices are heard and that the legislation and law that is proposed by the European Commission and then discussed by the Parliament would help people with disabilities get access to the labour market. We also create and uh, organise events in the European Parliament where we bring together different stakeholders, people from the business world, trade unions, people with disabilities, etc. But also, and first and foremost, working with the European Parliament is about building relationships, building partnerships with members of the European Parliament, 
uh, and that's how we uh, make sure that our voice is heard at European level. Well, that's it from the policy team this week, and see you soon.